Hey yo, um, today I'm going to show you how to switch accounts on any firmware using only one memory card and no backups, no CMA crap, just one memory card and that's it. So, all you need to do is open the browser. Okay. And go to the website vitatrix.tk. Tick OK. This will get you in. Kick get sign up app. And then click on the email. Enter an email you can receive on the console. Okay. Okay, and you'll see there sign by ICS has been sent to whatever. Just exit out. Then go to the email app and sign in to your email account. It's gonna complain about me having all this down. So I'm gonna add email account, add Gmail. Silica Your email address is the one I use, so it is yum at gmail dot com and the password I am not going to show you. Okay. Now click OK and check your emails. Okay, and I'll click Yes, doesn't matter, you can click no or yes, doesn't really matter, you just need to be able to see emails. Okay, I'll go inbox. Okay, and you'll see this message here, sign up. You'll click on sign up by ICS. Okay, and you'll see this message here, sign up app, PSN reg, coding, and browser icon. So what you want to do is you want to get ready to hold down the PS button, but you want to click on the browser. Okay, then hold down the PS button and wait a few seconds and then turn off the Wi-Fi. And if you do it right, you should be booted back to this screen. Now from here, you can just sign into another account. So for example, I can sign into my Japanese account, Neptune at maildrop.cc, and its password. Oh, right, there we go, my password right. Um, so then you just want to exit out and we'll be booted back to email just as okay. Just now open up settings, head over to the um, PSN network. And I hit sign out and then sign back in. And that will fully switch your account over. Alright, so now you can just open up the PS store. Alright, you can just download it, whatever. I'm a, and if your app is DOM free, you can run it even without your um, Japanese account. If it is DOM, so like anything paid for in some demos, uh, then you have to be on your Japanese account and activate it to pay it. But I know Vido is not is DOM free, so I'm going to go download it just to show you. And it's also really small. Alright, now that's going. Okay, now here's an important thing. Before you turn off your console, you need to switch back to your main account. And the reason why is because if you don't, then your memory card will be like, oi, this memory card is linked to a different account than the one you're currently using. So you just want to make sure you go back into your email once you're done, whatever the hell you want to do. Alright, and you switch back. It takes like perfect timing to do this, it's so annoying. Um, Alright, that was perfect. 
Okay, yes, I'm gonna go back to your main account. Need that Sid. That is. Dom at hotmail.com. And my password. Okay, that should do it. Alright, now I'm back on my main account. It's safe to actually reset the console. But I'm going to open this up. PSN settings. Sign out. Sign back in. Okay. And now, you're going to try the video app since it's DOM free. It should work. And as you can see, the app is in fact working. The Japanese video app, working perfectly. Even though I'm not on my Japanese account. Now some games, you will have to be in your Japanese account to pay them. But others, you will just be able to pay them just as is. It really depends on the game. Hope that's helpful. Works in all firmwares. Goodbye.